from the, from the bottom of my heart, this is an award-winning presentation. Lord, I bless your name for who you are. My life has been down because I was fun. Lord, I tried to stay away, but I'm back now. Get this music. Now, but what you want, I want you to miss my days low. I feel the good to be dressed, please, and give some love. Let me bless your name, and now that's what I'm here for. I know you keep on blessing me, but still, there's one more. Understand it's time for me to be the low side of being a half for young It got me trust What did you think about the storyline? Um, the story was very great because it's very um, It's a good reflection of, you know, our um, everyday life And, you know, so I believe everybody should recognize themselves within the story Thank you so much So, can I get your name? It's Janet. I'm Francesca's mum. Oh, hiya. Um, did you like the whole film, Deception? I thought it was uh, absolutely amazing. It was a bit of a life stopper because you could see your life and lots of others kind of there on the screen. As a mother, what advice would you give to young girls out there in relationships who are going through the same thing as Shaquilla? I think listen to your mum. <laughs> That's great. Yes. Stay close to home, girls. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I like the film. It was quite true, I think. Um. All I can say is thanks. Obviously, <laughs> we put in a lot of work, and to see all of you not here makes it worthwhile. How did you hear about the film Deception, and how did you get into the casting? Tell me your whole journey. It was it was kind of a word of mouth thing. It was from someone I knew who recommended me, and I went down for an audition, and um, I actually worked with Winnie, and um, you know, I guess. Um, they really enjoyed it and they wanted to bring me on board and um, I'm very grateful, it was an amazing experience, I've taken a lot from it, yeah. Do you normally do a lot of acting? Have you done a lot of acting before? Yeah, um, recently I was touring in theatre and I've just finished filming a few films at the moment, so at the moment I'm in between jobs through theatre and film, so yeah. Right. So what advice would you give out to girls out there who are in the same situation as you were, as your character? Um, I would just say, in this industry you're going to get a lot of no's and a lot of you don't pick your character and a lot of you don't look right. And I would say don't take it to the heart because a lot of the time it's just not right for you. And when it is right for you, it's going to be an amazing opportunity. So just keep pushing through the no's and when you get yeses, it's going to be amazing. Thank you so much, Jade. Enjoy your evening. I'm here with Ken, a.k.a. Sean. Sean's in the house, Sean. How did you like the whole film, Deception? Is this, first of all, is this the first time you watching the whole film? Definitely, definitely. This is the first time I'm actually seeing and sitting down just like everybody else watching the film. I was there acting, but we didn't, you know, when you're acting, we don't really get to see until it's all done. I personally, myself, I've enjoyed it. I've been laughing throughout the whole movie. You guys did a great job. How was it working with J Films? Um, it was it was incredible. It was there was the chemistry was there. The team was great. It was just incredible. Once we once we got the script and we read the script, the chemistry was there. We just bang on. We done it. Great energy. Great energy. You guys worked really really hard in it. I'm telling you, day in, day out, from morning till evening, after 11, I was getting home after midnight. So we're just putting work, putting all the energy that we can, and it's, it came out good. It came out good, it really did. You know the whole storyline, I actually have a friend of mine who went exactly through what you went through because the girl was not patient, she was listening to her friend instead of being patient in a relationship. What advice would you give to couples out there? Do you know the funny thing actually, I was in that situation, not too long before I did the movie, I was in that situation, so I can relate to my character. But the advice I would say is just keep pushing, keep looking, and just keep going, keep at it. You know, something will come up definitely, sooner or later. Well, thank you so much, Ken, enjoy your night. And for those who have boyfriends and girlfriends, be patient, you know? Be patient, you heard this is a 
second time. Someone saying again, be patient. Thank you so much. Well, you well still. Chris. Chris, tell me, have you enjoyed the film? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It's really good. What did you like about it, Joel? Um, I actually like the storyline. The storyline was very nice. Um, also, the characters, man, most of the characters were like, I think they picked one of the best characters. Some of them were funny, you know, some of them were serious. So it kind of gives the whole diversity to, you know, to the film. So I really liked it. I mean, they're doing a great job to just continue doing what they're doing. And yeah, I think they're great, man. Most of them are literally they're stars. Thank you so much, guys. August wearing Valentino, very classy. Tell me, how did you hear about the film Deception? Um, I'm the producer's fiance. Aww. <laughs> yeah, that's how. Uh, I don't know, it all started like a joke, but yeah. Did you enjoy watching it? I mean, is it the first time you've seen the whole movie or have you seen it before? Well, it is the first time I've seen the whole movie, yeah. It was good. How did you think about the whole acting and the actresses and actors? They were great. It was fine. You know, I heard about this and I was like, no problem. I just I don't mind going to the audition. I went and had fun and I really liked it. So I feel really blessed to be involved in it as well. How was the, how was the whole journey from you acting and the whole production? How was it? Um, regarding this, everything was really good learning curve because um, I've actually never done something in front of a camera before because um, I'm mostly on theatre doing film and stuff so to be involved in front of a camera it was quite different for me um, but I loved it so I just want to continue doing something like this. So what advice would you give to young girls out there who has a dream like you to become an actress? What would you advise them to do? You know right now the media industry is kind of packed there's really less jobs. What would you advise to young girls out there who want to strive a dream like yours? Um, good question. I would just say um, every dream is possible. Um, just don't listen to all the negative and the people that tell you can't because to be honest everything is possible if you just really work hard for it and just stick to what you, you like and what, you, what really drives you crazy and you will go really far. So just okay. Thank you so much. Slim, it looks like you were popular tonight. A lot of people applaud from you, for you and all about everyone wants to laugh in it that's that was basically my purpose in the film to make people laugh and it's a good thing because as you can see everyone did enjoy it everyone did laugh so I know that I've done my job well you know what I mean? so yeah it's how have how did you hear about the whole casting the whole film deception how did you hear about it how did you get into it no I was in the last one I was in the last film, The Chosen One. For those people who don't know what the last one was, what was the last one? The Chosen One was a film that came out last year before Deception. Mm -hmm. And I was in there as well. I played a similar character. I just played, you know, a funny character as well. So they just called me back to do the same. Have you enjoyed working with J Films? Of course, it's like, it's like family. When we're together, we catch jokes. So the summer we, we worked a lot, but it didn't feel like we've been working a lot. It felt like we're just, you know, having a bit of fun and doing what we love doing. For people who want to join J Films, what do they do? Like, who do they contact? The details should be on www.jfilms.co.uk, and I'm sure there's an email on the on the on the flyers as well. And yeah, you could. It's easy. It's not. It's not hard. I'm here with Chris K. Chris K. Hello. Hiya. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Tell me, did you enjoy tonight? Definitely. It's fun. Enjoyed it. What did you think of the film Deception? Um, it's really good. It's a bit different in a way that it had a lot of twists and turns in it, which makes it a bit more interesting. But um, I think it was really good, personally. Great. Well, thank you so much, Chris. I'm here with the producer, Gelo. Gelo, talk to me about J Films. J Films is a production company. It was believable and the story behind it was it was good. Yeah. Really good. What did you think about the whole production team? Um, it was actually quite good. It looked really professional and they did a good hard job. Hard job. You like tell that it was a hard job. Very hard job. Good. Well thank you so much guys. You're welcome. Right. Okay, I'm here with Chris. Hello Chris. Hi, hi. You look great today. Oh, thank you very much. Nice. First of all, tell me please. I'm here in the red carpet now with Land. Land, what a great job. Thank you. Did you enjoy watching it? Yeah, I did. I'm, I get kind of nervous watching myself back, so I was like, but yeah, I loved it. I enjoyed it. It's a 
audition for it? I, um, I received the email from J Films and then um, they were doing auditions in South London and I think I went and I did an audition but I thought the audition kind of went bad for myself. I didn't have enough time to prepare myself but I tried the best that I could and then I got called back so I was so shocked. I was like oh! And then when I found out I was playing Shaquille I was even more happy. So yeah, it was quite good. How was it working with J Films? Did you enjoy working with J Films? I did. Every day on set there was banter, there was jokes every day. I can absolutely say last year summer filming and working with J Films and everyone, it was a laugh. It was going through ups and downs, being together for the whole, it was like June, July, August, but we loved it. One big fat, happy family. <laughs> for people like Shaquilla, Shaquilla's out there, what advice would you give to Shaquilla's out there? Um, don't listen to bad advice. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because um, a lot of young girls, it happens to a lot of young girls. Shaquille is like independent. She's 21. She does everything alone. So she's kind of vulnerable as well. So when Jade was giving her them kind of advice, it kind of like her vulnerable side came out. And that's when she thought her barriers went down and then she allowed the other guys to come in. But that's what's happening to a lot of young girls. And I think bad advice is not right advice. So don't take it. You look lovely, by the way. Tell me what you're wearing. Okay, I'm here with Winiela La Merveille. Winiela, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm so excited. I don't know why. <laughs> I see the film was very, very good. I enjoyed it myself. Tell me, what is your role? Well, my role is a casting director. Um, I basically, behind the scenes, I send out emails, um, casting out the actors obviously having help on the team so yeah that's my that's my role so how did you get in touch with Landu and Jade how did you find them um actually Jade actually contacted me so they needed someone to help with the cast with the castings and the emails because they were so they were so busy so I was like okay I can do that that's a that's a great um, motivation so yeah have you enjoyed working with Jade Films yes I have I, I love it it's something that it's like when we were doing the castings, I felt like I was Sam and Cow a little bit, like in the X Factor judging. So, yeah, it's been so lovely. Yeah. Now, for someone who wants to join J Films or the whole production, what's your advice to them? Well, I think you should contact me, you can contact anyone in the team, they can contact the, the man himself, Jay Emmanuel Gelo, Westwood, Gospel Artist, whatever you call him, you can contact him and from there we'll take you on and we'll see you, we'll talk to you and everything, yeah. How much are the DVDs and stuff like that? The DVD is £5, um, there's one in Blu-ray and one in a normal DVD, so if you want to buy some, contact us and we'll, and we'll appreciate it for you. Thank you so much, Winiela. I'm now here with the man of God, Pastor Alexi, from Philadelphia. Hello, Pastor, how are you doing? Uh, I'm fine, and yourself? I'm good, thank you. It's great to have a man of God in the house today to come and support us as well. Have you enjoyed being here? Yeah, yeah yes, I do. I did really enjoy. Um, I know Gelo very, very well. And uh, he's got history. He's got a uh, background and he got pedigree. So I just decided to come and watch the film and I did enjoy. Really, I did enjoy. Did you like the acting, the actresses? Did you like it? I did really like it because, you know, uh, talking about film is that it is not just looking at the images. I, I did sort of uh, a holistic assessment and uh, looking at the image, scenes, the message, the background music, the sound, and the quality. It was uh, broadcast on uh, full 1080 high definition. And there are also DVD, uh, Blu-ray DVDs. So I would say, profoundly from the bottom of my heart, this is an award-winning presentation. You deserve a white gloves treatment. 
thank you so much, Pastor. What advice would you give to us young girls out here who are in the same situation as Shakira? Because a lot of the time you will see that us girls, we tend to listen to our friends a lot. What advice would you give to them? It's a little bit difficult. But the advice I'll give to Shakira is just to stick to the to the to the partner. So would you say patience is the key to relationship sometimes? It's the key to the relationship, yeah. I say you heard guys, patient as Pastor said, patient is the key to relationship. And look, Pastor even bought the DVD yeah. here. So guys, you have to get yours. I will go back home and then watch it again, watch it again, watch it again. And probably the next time, because I read in the board, he said to be continued. I'll come with my second advice. And may the Lord bless you, bless the whole actors. And uh, the presentation was so brilliant, amazing, sublime. As I said, red carpet, you deserve white gloves treatment. God bless you. Thank you so much, Pastor. I'd like to thank you all for coming to support us today and watch this film with us. Jay said, um, just, we just want to say thank you to God, first of all. And also want to say thank you to all the cast members. Um, Landy, um, great actress. I want to say thank you to all of you. And also Jay. Um, it's been, it was a great team and we did um, a great work, as you can see. And thank you guys for coming to support us. Um, some of you came from far. My mom's here. Mom, hi. So yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all for coming to support us and um, keep supporting Jay. Um, again, just like the whole car said, again, thank you so much for coming down and supporting. There's <coughs> so many of you tonight and it's a bit overwhelming. It's like, oh, whoa, there's a lot of people. But um, no, thank you so much. And I really hope you enjoyed it and you guys took something from it. So yeah, thank you. Thank you for supporting. Can all my family and friends just shout me? Thank you. Such a big turnout. Um, I'm a casting director, so I'm all behind the scenes. I just want to come and say thank you to everyone for attending today. Oh, so lovely. Thank you everyone for coming. And um, obviously you can see I had a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no, sorry. Um, no, seriously, thank you for everybody for coming and um, did have good fun. And, you know, I like to watch it. Sure. What? <laughs> All right, the last <laughs> All I can say is thanks. Obviously, we put in a lot of work, and to see all of you not here makes it worthwhile. Uh, <laughs> 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 the, the right situation is sorted. That's, that's why we're here. We we're, were we're even talking, she sorted out the rice. She gives me more of water, so we're all right. So thank you again for coming. Thank you. Yeah, it was a great time. Very good story. Very nice swim. I'm part of the production team. They did a, very, a, a really good job. And I hope to see the, the, uh, the second part of the film because it says to be continued. Uh, yeah, I'm looking nice. forward to see the second part. Same here. Um, is there any scenes that you're enjoying in the film? Like any scenes that stand out for you? Uh, I might say the very last bit, the very last part where uh, the girl said she was pregnant, she went to the toilet. It was kind of funny. To uh, <laughs> <laughs> be honest, I was surprised to see that. They did a really good job. Well done to you, Jeff, and all those people who got that video, that, uh, that movie. Really, really, really good. I really, I really love it. Thank you. Cheers, Camila yeah. Mokondi, Just Plum Dream Shot, AK. Cheers. Yeah, it was good. It was great. It was great. So, Jeff Films, he's so talented. I think, congratulations. I hope it goes far. It was really good. That's it, guys, for tonight. It was a big turn now. Thank you.